What is going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video with the boys at Courtesy Vlogs. We're at my parents' house once again. Uh, this time we're taking the baby Colorado because my car decided to uh, tear up an alternator belt last night. It just died on me. So uh, it's at my homie shop. Shout out to my boy Andy. We're taking care of it pretty fast. Um, we have new things I want to show you guys real quick. So I mentioned last video that we had new things coming up. Restocking on the Jetex, which we did. But now we got these really cool uh, air pressure gauges, guys. Check that out. I feel like this goes really well with our uh, drive safe with theme because obviously you want to check the tire pressure or whatever uh, even if you don't have the uh, tire pressure monitoring system in your car even if you do you don't you know I think it's a really cool uh, idea cool theme jet tags again we are fully stocked and then we did make some drive safe food stickers uh, you really can't see it I'm going to slap it on the truck real quick so you guys can see a little bit better uh, it's like a almost half inch by six inches in white drive safe with simple and there you guys have it really excited for you guys to get a hold of these since obviously we're all car guys I'm really excited for you guys to like uh, put them to use put them out in the wild you know uh, this is something I would have loved to purchase from other companies or other brands I mean I don't know just really clean and simple DM us, follow us on uh, Instagram if you guys are like looking for. Guys, if you guys do see us on any car meets and stuff like that, um, you guys always see us around uh, going to Cars and Coffees, going to Steer Fresh, uh, meets like that. Just DM us and let us know, hey, you guys gonna go to his meet? We'll go ahead and drop them off or whatever, you know. Uh, we've been trying to meet up with a lot of local cats from obviously the South Bay. Uh, if that's one of you guys, let us know. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how it looks because the transfer paper is white but you can still obviously see where you're gonna stick it on so I mean if you're like trying to align it with like some lines or something like that if you want to get like the perfect measurement you can still see the letters uh, pretty clearly it's just this transfer paper I don't know the place that we got it I don't know why they did like this to be honest I don't even know if that was like an option but let's stick it on let's see should come out clean the vinyl itself is pretty thick, so it should, it's really good quality, to be honest. I told them exactly where we were going to stick them on and what we wanted them for, and they're like, alright, cool. But there it is. Oh, man, I love that. So clean and, like, bold. That's what I like. Just making a statement. So I just dropped off my boy Baxter to get groomed up, because, I mean, I got a haircut yesterday, so my boy needs to get groomed up, too. Um... Oscar's been raving about this espresso and tonic coffee from this coffee shop. Actually, the Boy in the Bear coffee shop that we went to last time for the Brecky Carco place. Um, there's one near his job, and I just pulled up to this job real quick to try that out. Let's see what he's raving about. There it is. This one's really cool too. Has the same style vibe as the other one. Very cozy. So this is the infamous, uh, what is it? Sparkling Americano. Let's see what the hype is about. Okay. All right, so you see us drinking coffee all the time. This is a, this is a different one. This one recommended it. So. The boy and the bear was the cars of coffee that we went to uh, last week. And next to my job, there actually happens to be one here in Cooper City. So I've been pretty much coming every single day now. I'm not even a lot of you. This is like a, they call it like a beer like substance coffee. So it's a double shot of espresso over sparkling water. It's kind of weird. When you think about it, it's no creamer, it's just black coffee with this sparkling water. It's super refreshing, surprisingly, like really good. The bubbliness of it is like fire. It's That's different. really it's good. A different take, but I've been hooked on it. Yeah. If you guys have any uh, coffee shop recommendations or like coffee drinks, uh, let us know. Cause I mean, we like to try new things. This is completely different. I would I would have never like said like, yo, let me try this. Yeah, yeah, not not this. Same here, but 
I was intrigued at the way they described it, like being like a beer, beer-like coffee. And um, I mean, it was it was different. The first time I had it, I was with one of my associates, and I literally like shut them up. I was like, "Yo, you guys gotta try this. This is game changer." Yeah, that's good. Have you ever seen espresso with sparkly water? Try it. Yep. Yeah. If not, you can unfollow. Go ahead. <laughs> no, please don't unfollow. <laughs> There's my dude, what's up dude? All groomed up, look at this fool. Damn, looking good my dude. All right, so we're at our local post office out here in Gardena. Unfortunately, we got this little guy here, which I don't think we can take him in. So we're gonna be posted outside while Oldsmark does that. I'm gonna take a walk. Let's go travel around Gardena real quick. Facts. I mean, it'd be a shame if we didn't just go order them at Gangbang Low Key. How about? Boy, wait for your dad. Like Gangbang Large Fries? Comment down below if you've had them at Gangbang before. If you haven't, go get one. You're missing out. All right, so it looks like Oldsmar is done. I will let this food go, but he's gonna run over there. Probably get hit by a car, so I'm gonna wait. But he's been patiently trying to get to his owner. Watch this. Go, dude. Alrighty, guys. And just like that, we got everything shipped out, ready to go. And we got some more postage, so we can mail out other things to you guys. So let us know, guys. So from here, we're gonna head on out. Probably go back to Osmar's place, and then uh, do another ricer mod. <laughs> Let's see how that works. Actually, I don't think we ever showed you guys the ricer mod. We told you about it, but we didn't tell you guys, or show you guys, see how it comes out. All right, guys, as promised, we are doing a ricer mod. And no, it's not taking off my suspension. I'm just really aired up because we don't have a jack here. And we just thought about that. And it's at my house or at his ha actual house. But we are doing color LED strip light. And if y'all guessed it, Yes, it is for the outside of the car. It is gonna be underglow. I already have the interior done, which we'll show you guys later on when it gets dark, I guess. But we are doing the Ricer mod of the year, underglow. I guarantee you guys, underglow will come back, guys. No, I'm not gonna be doing some Super Mario rainbow track effect like crazy. We're just gonna leave it on white, just cause it's clean, possibly blue, I don't know. Look at that gap though, it's crazy. I don't think I've ever aired up my car this high, but we don't have a jack, so we have no point of just leaving these lights for another day because we got nothing else to do. Why not? Right routines. And it's honestly like 90 something degrees outside right now. It is blazing. Super hot. Man. And I don't want to be inside the house. So we might as well just install this. Oh, I know where we can do it. Oh, see? Done deal. We got this. So, we're about to put these on. Instead of a side skirt, because there's <laughs> prints all over my handrest. We're over here installing lights. He's over here freaking chilling. What are you doing, bro? He hears the car on. He's just like, yeah. Let's go. I'm ready to go. He sees a or open door. That's not an invitation hey, for you to get in, get bro. Up, come up. on. Hurry up. Come here. Get over here, dude. Bro. So it looks like a pretty simple install. Hard wire onto the battery. It has a little module right there that hooks up to what your phone, right? Uh, yeah. So it's a uh, Bluetooth. So it's gonna hook up to my phone, just like my uh, interior lights. So I'm hoping I can probably sync them, and then when I sync them, I guess my interior and my exterior will be the same. So we're just gonna run all these wires down and then pretty much it's just double sided tape. I, I don't see it that hard. I don't think it's gonna be a long install, but every single time you say it's not gonna be a long install, it ends up being like a five hour I know. job for some other reason. We were just talking to some guy uh, that did it himself to another queue and he said he took like two hours. So hopefully we don't take that Toxic. long. <laughs> Toxic, shout out to you, Toxic. <laughs> you guys know him, you guys follow him on IG. He has a red Q50 on work equips. Yeah, I think it's fine. I'm gonna try to beat your time, bro. You said two hours. It is 6.11 right now. 6.11, so we have to finish by 8.11. Oof, okay. We can do it. We can do it. All you gotta find is a hole to run your cables through. Which I have no fender liner because I ran it over on the freeway. Going yep. to pick up a splitter. By the way, if you guys need splitters or anything, like any carts, or carts, um, any parts for your Q50, hit up my boys at South Bay Auto Works. They got you. Yup. 
7.30 and it is done. What is it? An hour and 20 minutes. If it wasn't because of the wires. Oh, this side looks cool in red actually. You can't tell the front just yet because it's still too much light. Oh, sneak peek, yo. <laughs> sneak peek. Nah, Yakti is the real thing. The real thing. Change it up on them, boy. Let's go wide real quick. This one, though. One. Say you guys are not playing E for Speed Underground right now. Who misses that game? Boom. <laughs> well, you, you, you're going like this? In, in, the, in the game? Look at the mm. warrior of your Change it from bumper. Hold on. One, two. <laughs> JK. <laughs> that looks dope. Uh, let's do schemes. Let's see uh, energetic. What do you do? Hey, Super Mario. That looks dope. I like the rear. The rear looks really cool. Yeah, the rear is really good actually. It's long. It's crazy how good it is. And it's only because that bumper, the way it's designed. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The things we just do to our cars, huh? By the way, guys, Osmar, when my car was at the body shop getting done, he was getting the white body. He said this was a bad idea because this was a quarantine vibe. I did, yeah, because it looked, it looked no, riser. It looked right for it. It looked right for a F on the Amazon picture. Wait, wait, wait. All right, now let's see what you're working with. All right, so we got. So guys, we're right here. We got this app. So I got my interior glow. So we're about to turn the interior on. You know what? Let's put on the same mode. We'll do um, scenes. Energetic, just for the hell of it, just to look like a rice boy. Oh, we gotta cut that off. All right, guys. Exterior. Bam. That is dope, Heike. Of course, we're not gonna be running these colors ever, but it's cool for the video just to see how it works. <laughs> so I did. It's cool because it's like the same, like shades and like tones of the colors, exactly. and like the light itself spreads out really good. It doesn't look like individual LEDs everywhere. I mean, what if we do do orange since the outside is technically? There you uh, go. I feel like the orange. inside looks kind of weird on the orange. Looks darker. I feel like yeah we'll just do white all right let's do white for now so white interior white exterior go to the colors white so that's white all the way around Damn. that looks baller high key damn. that looks classy like like it could come from the factory like that and you'd be like damn Cause that's technically like puddle lights status like a vip cars but Yeah, that's dope. I plugged in the patio lights. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> lit, really lit. <laughs> that looks dope. Oh, I'm about to change it up on y'all. You know what's gonna happen? We're getting them angles. We're gonna go hell. Do you even stretch that much when we at the gym, bro? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get hella, hella riser next. We're gonna get a. Illuminated valve cap for the freaking tires. Damn, that's a good one. That's too right. <laughs> I ain't a Tron out here. You said, I'm not, that's too right. Yeah, you still got underglow. Yeah, there you guys have it. Before we sign out, I want to go ahead and do the shout out to this fool right there. Thank you guys so much again. Uh, if you guys are interested to be on our screen, DM us with a picture of you guys subscribe to our channel and like our previous video And then again for all that merch that we have going on let us know And drop some comments and see what you guys think rice or nice So as you guys can probably see maybe not but <laughs> you can kind of see it through the corner. Ah, let's cover that up Yeah, we went rice. So 100% went rice guys um, Honestly in person, I don't think it looks as bad as it might look through that screen It looks way better in person to be honest. It looks better than what I thought so for all the non-believers, trust me. And yes, that's pretty much what we're gonna run. We're gonna run white. We're not gonna run like, hold on, like some random, even though this color actually looks pretty sick. I think Osmar already knows exactly what I'm gonna do. Yep. Hot boy pink. So that looks dope. Boy, like he, 
flash purple. Okay. I think that looks dope. What do you guys think? Like, come on. Yeah. It looks hard. What do you guys but think? But we'll see. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, we're probably just going to stick to that color right there. That's because it's in the middle of white and blue, so... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know, it's getting darker and darker. We're just waiting for the lights to come down so we can see how it looks. I think we we pretty much measured everything, so we should be okay when it comes down to lengthwise, or I guess proportionate-wise. But uh, that's it, guys. I mean, the interior is done as well, as you guys know. So, quarantine ricer mod of the year, interior <laughs> and exterior <laughs> glow. <laughs> We're going back to, when did Fast and Furious come out? I don't know, like two, 2001, 2002, 2002, I think? That's also, I don't know, 2001. Yeah. So when I was like in the sixth grade or something like that. I Thank you guys. See you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Peace. Later.